Hello, welcome back to yet another tutorial. And yes, today is going to be tutorial day. No replays for you, but you guys are going to love this. And I've also received this by popular demand now lately. Now, let me remove my face temporarily and show you what I've done. As you can see, I have downloaded the free cam mod and I've already extracted it. But let's take it from the beginning, step by step. I don't want to confuse you. I don't want to make this short Bruh. and sweet. So, a very special thanks to this gentleman called That Boy Guru, who uploaded a video a couple of years ago, actually on the 11th of October in 2019, as you can see down there below, with the free cam mod. And the beauty about this mod is that you don't have to change anything. It works with all versions of the game. Old and new. Amazing? Amazing. So, what I want you to do, I want you to come to this video. The link will be in the description. Share your love. Hit, the, Smash the like button on this video. The one that I'm showing you. Excuse me. Hello. If you want, subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. That Buyu is a really nice guy. You can follow his instructions if you find mine to be confusing. But let's let's see the following steps. So the next thing you're going to do, you're going to open the description and you're going to click on here. This link is absolutely safe. It takes you to a Google Drive shared file, which happens to be this one right over here, ladies and gentlemen. Oversee... Over on the top right, you see where it says share, where I'm pointing my mouse. Now go a little bit to the left and you can see this beautiful button called download. Don't click on anything else uh, on, over here. You're going to get confused. Just click on download and it will download all the files that you need. And as you can see, I have downloaded it on my desktop. Feel free to download it wherever makes you happy. That is not the issue. Extract the file. And once you do that, let's move on to the next step. So once you've extracted the file, inside you're going to find another folder called mods. There are a few more steps that you have to take. You are you are almost there from installing it. It's very, very easy. Trust me. Open it. You're going to take all these files. You're going to copy them. Don't cut them. Very important. Copy them. Keep this as a safe copy somewhere else on your hard drive. In case something goes wrong, keep it on a flash drive, whatever. Or just go to what, what that boy guru's video again and download it again. The link is always available and it's always free. And I give him credit for that because without his help, this video would have been much more difficult to make. So, back to the installation process, which is very easy. You're going to copy all what you see in this folder. Next, you are going to go to your World of Tanks folder. You're going to open mods. Now, as you can see, I've already done it. Usually what happens throughout the passage of time is that you get, as you can see up there, let me show you with the mouse. You're going to get, you're going to see, you should see, if you haven't deleted anything, lots of versions. You should delete these because you no longer need them. However, you're going to paste the free camera mod. It will not delete anything from any existing folders. It will simply merge these folders together. Now, that completes the installation. Number two, whenever you have an update, and it goes like, for, for in this case, I've, I'm using this as an example, 128.0.0, and the current version is 128.1.0. You enter your replay, you try to use your free camera, and it doesn't work. Why? Because you have not moved the files 
from the older version to the current. Unfortunately, World of Tanks doesn't do that automatically. You must do it manually. And it's very simple. You don't have to download, extract. No, 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 no. None of that again. You're, gonna, you're simply going to come here. You're going to take all your mods from here, including the free camera, which is the first one on the top, as you can see. You are going to cut it. And you're going to go to the latest folder, which should be empty, because you just downloaded the latest, latest version of World of Tanks. Thus, it makes sense that it would be empty. And as I previously mentioned, World of Tanks does not auto-update the mods. It simply installs the client as it is, vanilla. So, yes, it's annoying that you have to do this in each and every time it is updated, but c'est la vie, that's life. So, you go to your previous folder, the most recent before the last, you cut all your mods, which you know that work with each and every version, in this case, the free camera, and you're going to paste it right over here. And this finishes the update, in inverted commas, of your mods. Now, let's see how you can use the free camera within the game. I also recommend that you watch that boy Guru's video and you read his, uh, his file. He explains everything, but let me show you live. So, I am using this replay only as an example. I still haven't featured this replay. It's from my friend Afuto Patsipagameno. It doesn't matter who it's, who it's from. As long as the replay works, you're good to go. You're going to wait for the countdown to reach zero and the tanks to start moving. Once that happens, you're going to click left. You're going to use the left click once, which activates the in-game free camera, not the mod free camera that we just installed. You're going to hit space in order to pause, preferably and you're going to hit usually usually this, this is how mine works you just check out the configuration file just to be sure f3 and then shift now notice the map the excuse me the hud disappeared you see here on the center and on the far left it disappeared as well as the circles the what do you call them the spotting maximum render circles, they all disappear. Now, sometimes you can get them back when you hit either the left mouse button and you disable the free camera. Okay, we got the HUD and we got the... the tank... Uh, yeah, the tank's uh, statistics on the left, but we didn't get the circles. This is not an issue. You are interested in how to use the free camera. So let's activate it again. Left click. As you can see, it says over there, free camera activated. This is the game free camera. One more time. Do not be confused. Now we're going to activate the mod free camera. F3, shift. There you go. Now, if you notice, apart from the HUD disappearing, you also notice that some shadows on the tank change. They, they go away. Now, there are a few options. From the... 1 to 0 is the speed of the free camera. Like, for example, 1 is the slowest. Look at this. This is... Oh, my God. This is so slow. 2, 3, 4... As you, see, you can see, it's getting faster and faster. 5, 6, 7... Damn, that's fast. 8, 9, and last but not least, 0, which is the fastest. With zero and with the basic setting, you could go from one point of the map. Look, look at look at that camera over there, which is flying, to the other. You are limited by the render circles of the player. And if it's an SPG, it depends on where that SPG is looking. The render distance recenters where the green box is on the minimap. That's why if you use the free camera with an SPG, you're going to get confused because you're going to you're going to try and use it on your player while he's zoomed to in the enemy base and you're going to try and look at your surrounding allies, you're not going to see anyone because 
the render circles have moved. I've mentioned this before. So, the base is a little bit jerky. To fix this, and this is what I use for my intros, you're going to hit the P, P as in Peter button. And it's going to become smooth. Now, you see that? You see how smooth it becomes? This is the tool that I use in order to make my intros. And it's mwah, beautiful. Beautiful. Back in the day, I didn't know how to do this. Because I hadn't read the file. I just simply followed, you know, very simple instructions. I was uh, in a hurry. I was bored. My bad. Whatever. Okay. So, other things that you can do. You could hit C. C, as in ABC. Anywhere. And you can lock the map in a specific location and look around in circles. Now I'm moving my mouse. See, up and down, below ground. Oh, that looks, that looks awesome. That looks, that looks amazing. In order to unlock, you press C again. And you're good to go. You're good. You're, you're free to move around again. Now, you can center either an ally or an enemy as long as that enemy is of course visible duh if you go stealth well the camera is going to get frozen there in order to do this you have to get the outline of either your allies which is green or red your enemies or purple if you're using the colorblind mode so as soon as you get the outline you see the outline the green around the tank you're going to push the B button. B as in uh, Bravo. B. Now, once you do that and you play and you hit play again, as long as this player or this uh, player, whether it's an ally or an enemy, as long as this player is within your render circle and you have eyes on him, if it's an enemy, you have eyes on him. If it's an ally, he just has to be within render range because your allies are always visible. This is what happens. I'm going to push space. And now we're following the tank. Now we could do some other stuff. We could move the camera around while following the tank. We could change the angle with the WASD. Imagine that you're driving around. You're going to, you guys are going to get the hang of this. It's very easy. Very easy, actually, when you get the hang of this. Now, let's pause this again. You could remove the focus by pressing B again. The same concept as C. You could also zoom in with the insert key right above your curse, your arrow keys, not cursor keys, your arrow keys, where there's, you know, insert, delete, page up, page down. With the insert key, which unless you've changed it in the configuration, with the insert key, you zoom in. And with the delete key, you zoom out. See? And, oh boy, wow, that is very far. And what's the closest we can get? Oh, wow. Would you look at that? Now, this is a little bit confusing. Maybe if I put it up slower speed. The mouse is very sensitive. Maybe that's also configurable, but well, it can be configured. But uh, right now, I don't know that. So, we are going to zoom out a little bit. Actually... What we're going to do, we're going to unfocus, go back to the player, hit pause to reset it. You don't have to hit pause to reset it, but I'm just doing it in order to save myself the headache later. Reactivate game free camera, reactivate mod free camera, and we're back to basics. Now, what else can you do with uh, the free camera? Hmm. What you can do is that by using the in-game options, you can hit the left key and go back 20 seconds. But this is inside the game anyway. It's not exactly related to the free camera mod. But you can use that in order to... Remember when I say, let's watch that again? That's what I do usually. Or if you hold the control and hit left, you will go back 40 seconds 
Now, these instructions are right in the beginning of the replay, not the match, the replay where, it's, where it tells you. Push up to make it faster. Like, for example, let's uh, replay speed. As you can see, it says times 1, times 2, times 4, times 8, times 16. My god, man, that is so fast. <laughs> Now, when you hit space, you pause the replay. And uh, you can play again by pushing space. Or you could simply take it slow. Push up and it will go 1 16th speed. 1 8th, 1 quarter, half speed, and we're back to normal. 1, 1 times speed. There you go. So I'm also including the in-game options for replays. What else can I teach you? Hmm. Whenever you have an individual which you are suspecting that is game rigging and that person is within your render range, you're going to activate game free camera and then you're going to, by pressing left mouse button, and then you're going to activate mod free camera. And in this case, because we saw that uh, my friend said, T57, what the fuck are you doing, you fucking bot? So what we're going to do, we are going to locate this T57, Uh, now it's at one speed. I'm going to go at full speed. And this is the smooth, the smooth free camera. There is the T57, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, as a bonus, what is he doing? Nothing. <laughs> I've watched this before. It's uh, either a person who's rigging or a bot. And he's trying to get killed by specific players. I wasn't able to prove this. But, there you go. I could also center the player. I could uh, go up. Zoom out. And see exactly what he's doing. Because he is within render range of our hero. Who is, by the way, he is over there. You see that, um, you see that little white uh, arrow? Arrowhead? On the map, let me show you where the artillery just shot. Well, he, the artillery shot behind him. That, this is a Futopatsu Togammen. We can go back to him very simply by clicking the left mouse button. Or we can continue watching this guy. Or we can disengage with the B. We can watch someone else. Like, for example, the Leopard Prototype A. Get his highlight. Push B. Now, if you do not like this... Uh, what do you call this green thing, this aura around the vehicle? After you focus the player, you could simply move the camera a little bit. He or she will stay focused and you won't have that outline, which could be annoying to some people's eyes. I get that. So I'm trying to think of everything possible to teach you about how to use, of course, and how to install in the beginning. But how to use this beautiful mod. One of the most beautiful mods ever made for World of Tanks. In my opinion, Wargaming should make it in a way that you could see the entire battlefield. But that, then again, that would take much more resources on a computer. That's why they haven't done it. I've also mentioned that in the previous video. So, having said that, yes, this took 19 minutes so far. But if, you watch, if you've watched this carefully, if you've reached this far... By the end of these 19 minutes, you should know all the basics of how to download, how to install, and how to use the free camera. And having said that, thank you for your time and patience. You're an awesome community. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget, that boy guru. Tell him I sent you. See ya.